AI has evolved. Now you can create a 60-minute story using just one tool and do it all in minutes. Layla strolls along the forest path, her humming echoing through the serene woods. The air thickens with an unsettling silence, broken only by the rustling of unseen creatures. A large gray wolf appears, blocking Layla's path. In this video, I'll show you the easiest way to craft these stories in different styles. How to do it for free if you're on a tight budget. And I've got not one but two surprises waiting for you, so stick around and let's get started. One powerful tool that can do all this is Magic Light AI. Let's check it out. You'll find the link in the description. After creating your account, this is the homepage you'll see. If you scroll down, you'll find creations from other users. Watch them if you want some inspiration. But the two main features are create a video and create a character. I'll show you both click on create a video to get started. From here, we'll create our story. But first, let me show you these trending shorts templates they just added. With just one click, you can create a similar short. And who knows, it might even go viral. Let's pick this one as an example. It costs only 185 credits for the entire video. Super affordable. Here are the characters. If you change one, it'll require extra credits to reanimate, so I recommend keeping them as is. Now click Generate, and the visuals are ready to go. Just like that, your video is done. Definitely <laughs> give it a try. Now let's create our story. You can choose between smart script if you want AI to generate it for you or basic script if you already have your own. I'm going with smart script, pasting my story, choosing the aspect ratio and picking one of the many visual styles. For this one, I'll go with their new Zootopia style. It's perfect for a fun animated vibe. Next, you can choose how long you want your video to be, from one minute all the way up to 30 minutes. For this video, I'll go with three minutes and click next. All right, now Magic Light automatically splits your story into individual scenes, just like a full storyboard, scene by scene. Each one is fully editable. So if something feels off or needs a small tweak, you can easily customize it your way. You can also add or delete any line that doesn't fit the story. This story contains 21 shots, and generating all the images will cost 130 credits. Once you're done, just click Next to proceed. Here, we'll set up our characters. You can choose one from the huge character library or let the AI do it for you by selecting AutoCast. It will automatically assign characters to your story. You can also create your own custom character. For example, the fox looks great, but let's change Kara. She's supposed to be a panther, not a sheep. Click on Create, then choose the name, gender, category, and age. Since Kara isn't human, we'll select Anthro and paste the character prompt I made with ChatGPT. You can even upload a face or outfit to guide the design but no need for now. Let's generate the character. If you didn't like it, you can click edit, but this one looks good for me. I'll go with apply and confirm. When you're done, simply click next to continue. Just like that, Magic Light builds your visual storyboard. An image for every scene in your script, all with consistent characters. Let's scroll through it real quick. And if something doesn't look right, just hit regenerate as many times as you want. It's totally free. You can also customize the image prompt to get the exact look you want, and even edit which characters appear in each scene. Now that we're done with the images, it's time to animate them. Just click on any image, hit animate, and choose one of the three animation styles. For this one, I'm going with Hailuo. You can animate scene by scene or do it all at once. And that's what we're going to do. Click animate all, it'll cost 3,900 credits. Then just hit confirm. Then just wait for the AI to finish generating your video. Once it's done, go ahead and preview it. Looks good? Great. If not, you can always reanimate any scene until you're happy with the result. And once everything looks the way you want, it's time to move on to the next step. Here, you can choose a cover image for your story. Add subtitles if you want, and even pick some background music to match the vibe. Once everything's set, just click Generate and your video is ready. I'll show you the result, but before, let me show you how to do it for free in case you're on a tight budget or just want to test things out first. 
Magic Lite gives new users 300 free credits to test things out. So go ahead and make a new account and create a video, paste your script, and hit generate. You can add scenes for just five credits each, and it'll generate high quality images with consistent characters and the best thing, no watermark. After that, skip the animation and subtitles part. Magic Lite give the choice either to, to download the video or the images, just download the images, then use any free video generator to animate those scenes. For example, I'm using VO to bring this scene to life. Looks pretty good, right? Now repeat that for every scene. Yes, it takes more time and effort, but if you're on a budget, that's the free way. And now for the surprise. In partnership with Magic Light AI, I'll be choosing two of you watching this video to get a standard plan. Completely free for one month, so you can start creating your own full stories with no limits. All you have to do is sign up using the link in the description. And comment below with the email you use to sign up. I'll pick two winners at random. Good luck. If you're still watching, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Now I'll let you with the story. The city weeps under a torrent of rain as a rusted warehouse door creaks open, revealing shadows and secrets. Nashwild emerges from the storm, his fur soaked and coat heavy, stepping into the warehouse. He stands in the dark, the warehouse looming around him. In the dim warehouse, Kara's yellow eyes burn into Nash from the shadows. Nash leans against a crate, his black leather jacket gleaming under the flickering lights. Kara's voice cuts through the silence. You're late, Nash retorts coolly. You're early. A metal case sits on the table, vials of glowing blue liquid pulsing softly. Nash approaches the case, but Kara stops him, her paw gently resting on the lid. Kara's voice cuts through the silence. You know what this is? Nash replies. Instinct suppressant. Tames the beast. Kara states evenly. Levels the field. Nash's hand hovers near his coat, a silent signal that does not escape Kara's notice. Kara's voice cuts through the tension. You've got cop posture, she says. Straight back. Eyes scanning exits. Nash retorts smoothly. Or maybe I just don't like surprises. Kara steps closer, her voice a low threat. Neither do I. The scar over Kara's left eye gleams, and the silence is deafening. Nash's movements are slow and deliberate. As he reaches into his coat, he sets a small data chip on the crate, a silent offering. My buy-in, Kara's cold warning hangs in the air. Drops in two nights. You show up clean, or you don't show up at all. Nash turns, muttering. Fair enough. The relentless rain mirrors the city's despair as Nash emerges into the alley, the wet pavement reflecting the garish neon lights. The warehouse door creaks shut behind him, sealing off one chapter, as he steps further into the unknown. Kara watches Nash through the metal, her claws tapping softly. Kara whispers to herself, foxes lie well, but they all leave tracks. 